How to play slides. Sliding is a method of getting between two notes on one string. There's two directions you can slide. You can either slide up or you can slide down. You can tell which direction you're supposed to be sliding in by the start note and the end note. However, the slide symbol itself tells you whether you should be sliding up or sliding down. Sometimes the slide symbol will also appear in conjunction with a slur symbol. You'll know the slur symbol from our hammer-ons and pull-offs. You may recall that with the hammer-ons and pull-offs, the slur symbol means the two notes are joined, and the same thing applies to the slides. So, let's summarise the four main basic slide symbols. We have a slide up with the slur, the slide up without a slur, the slide down with a slur and the slide down without a slur. So let's learn now how to play these. Firstly let's look at the slides with the slur sign. When you see a slide with a slur sign this means you only strike the string once with the plectrum. So you play the first note then slide it to the second note without re-picking the string. This can obviously be done in the upward direction and the downward direction. You simply play it as the tablature shows you. More often than not, which fingers you use can only be determined by the tablature and a bit of common sense. So, for example, if you have to slide from the 5 to the 7 and then play a 9 on the same string straight afterwards, it only makes common sense to play the slide with the first finger. However, if you were to play the 5 to the 7 and then have to return to the 5, it makes more sense to play the slide with the third finger so that you can return to the five with the first finger. Let's see a practical demonstration of these examples. Now, let's look at how we play slides without the slur line above them. When playing the slides without a slur line, we have to play both the notes. So for example, here we'll play the 5th fret, then slide straight away to the 7th fret and we'll play this note straight away. So in effect, we have to pick the string at the beginning of the move and at the end of the move. When playing this type of slide, it's important to play the second note straight after the slide. If you hold the note for any length of time and then play it, this would be signified differently in the tablature. So play, slide and play again. Here are the exercises we just did a moment ago, but this time without the slurs. Try and copy them if you can.
Some hints or common mistakes are Don't slide too slowly, keep the speed up. If you slide too slowly, you hear the slow transition as you pass over the frets. Keep the finger pressed whilst you're sliding it. If you release the pressure, you'll find that the finishing note won't sound.